want to do one more video this morning. Uh, we did a video where we rewrote logarithmic expressions as exponential, or rather logarithmic equations as exponential equations, and now we're just going to go the other direction. So we were going from this form to that form, now we're going to go back the other way. So I've just redrawn the same little graphic here with the color coding. The argument here is in green ovals. It's the answer you get in the exponential form and it goes inside the logarithm. The base is in purple. That's the base of the logarithm or the base of the exponential form. And then the exponent in this form becomes the answer in logarithmic form. So we have to look first at the exponential form and identify the parts. So let's look at number 17. My base is 225. My exponent is 1 half. And my argument is, be, is going to become 15. So when I rewrite that in logarithmic form, I'm going to have log base 225. And I write the 225 as a small number down below the normal line. And then that gets parentheses. Okay, what goes inside the parentheses is the argument. And the exponent goes to the other side of the equation, like so. So if you were to put this into the calculator, I believe it's a true equation. If you take log base 225 of 15, you get 1 half. Because the square root of 225 is 15. So again, raising something to the 1 half is taking the square root. All right, let's do another couple of those. So you identify the base. So I now have log base 13 of something equals something. Then I identify the exponent and that goes to the other side of the equation. And the argument goes into my parentheses. One more time, my base my exponent my argument. That's it. 